Christmas is a time of joy, gratefulness, and full of imagination. Can you use your imagination to bring joy right now? Let me show you how. I'm Daryl Allen, and I have been entertaining audiences with my magic shows for over 25 years. But right now, I'm going to let you use your imagination to make a joyful, magical experience happen right where you are. Let's try a simple test. I describe something, you close your eyes and try to imagine it perfectly, and then we compare notes. In fact, we're going to see if we can make our thoughts intersect in some wonderful, imaginary, perfectly realistic way. I know it sounds confusing, but it isn't. Now don't close your eyes yet. I need to show you how to do it. First, I want each of you to imagine that there's a small Christmas tree in front of you. And on that Christmas tree are three round colored ornaments. There's a red one, and a white one, and a blue one. You know, pretty shiny ornaments. Something you would enjoy hanging on the tree. Now watch me very closely and do exactly what I do. I want you to take one of the ornaments in your right hand. It doesn't matter which color you take. And then I want you to move the ornament from hand to hand as you spell a word. One move for each letter. So, if you were spelling the word ball, you'd start with the ball in your right fist, like this, and then shift it up and back. B, A, L, L. Good. Did you get it? How did you do? Can you imagine that? Excellent. Because they're magic ornaments, you'll notice that these ornaments never fall on the ground accidentally. They always land in your hand, if that's what you want. But right now, I'd like you to hang your ornament back on the Christmas tree, because that's what you want right now. Let's start with our hands empty, and to help your imagination, I'd like you to close your eyes tightly. Don't peek, just listen to my voice. Just concentrate on anything that's imaginary. Now from the tree, pick off one of the ornaments, the red one or the white one or the blue one, and holding it in your right hand. Do you have it? I want you to transfer it from hand to hand as you spell the color of the ornament, red, white, or blue, tossing the ornament up and back. Now do that now. Now you've got a fist where you're holding the ornament, and an empty open hand. If you ended up holding the ornament in your left hand, just hold on to it. Don't put it anywhere right now. But if you're holding the ornament in your right hand, hang it back onto the Christmas tree and switch it for another color. Be sure you see the color of the new ball that you've taken from the tree See that color perfectly in your imagination. Good. Now you're holding one ornament, and you know the color, and I don't. Remember the color of that ornament, and make sure you see it perfectly in your mind. Now bring both of your hands together, and toss that ornament away. Because it's a magic ornament, it flies miles high through the air, and it's gone for good. You'll never use that color. That means there are two remaining colors on the tree. Take a look at them both, but with your eyes closed. Now take either one of them in either hand. You can pick it up in your right hand or your left hand. It doesn't matter, but remember the color to be sure to make a fist when you're holding it. Everyone, now let's make this really random. I want you to spell your first name moving the ornament back and forth from hand to hand, once for each letter of your name. Do that now. Perfect. I want you to notice which hand the ornament is in, your left hand or your right hand, and spell that word, moving the ornament from one hand to the other. Do that now, 
spelling either right or left. Good. Hold the ornament where you ended up in your fist. Now I'd like you to spell the color of that ornament, the one in your hand. Move it back and forth, one move for each letter as you spell the color. Do that now. Good. Stop right there. You've got a fist with an ornament inside of it. And you've got an empty hand. Now with your empty hand, take the last ornament from the tree. And be sure to notice that last color. Listen to me closely. Take the ornament that's in your left hand. Notice the color. Lift it up and hang it on your forehead. Because it's a magic ornament, it will automatically stay as if your forehead was a Christmas tree. You can open your eyes. That was a pretty good test of your imagination. You had to see the Christmas tree, the colors in front of you, and you had to move them from hand to hand in a random manner, depending on what decisions you made, what hand you were thinking about, or what color you were thinking about. Well, now before we go any further, I want you to slowly reach up to your forehead and take the blue ornament that's hanging there because you're not going to be able to watch the rest of the program unless you move the blue ornament out of the way. Did I get it right? Did you imagine it perfectly? If you did, reach in the seat back pocket in front of you for a special surprise from pastors Eddie and Julie and the staff at City Point Church. Merry Christmas from me, Daryl Allen, and the City Point family. Ho, ho, ho!